Hey, it's John at Tinderbox Arts, and today we're going to do a little review of this top box here. Now, my BMW R1200RT, uh, I've had for about three years, and I got this top box uh, about the same time when I got this. So this box is three years old, and this year of COVID, I didn't get as much use out of it as I would like, but, you know, there has been a fair amount of use to this top box. Now, what I settled on was a GV, and that is the way you pronounce it according to the company. I know there's other pronunciations, but they pronounce it GV. So this is a GV V47 mono key system. And when I bought this bike, it had the factory uh, panniers here, but I didn't have a top box. So when I looked at how much a BMW top box cost, I decided I'd go this route instead. Now today, this top box sells for about $350 or so maybe a little bit less, but, but there's a, a little device underneath here, which is a mounting bracket, and you need to buy that as well. Now that is different depending on what bike you have. All right, I know this is gonna be important to a lot of people, so let's talk about the locking system here. Now they give you a key, all right, which is about the same size as the bike key, very similar. And you know, it's not gonna be keyed to the bike, so you're not gonna have one key for this and your other boxes. You can have a separate one. For me, I actually prefer that. Uh, because I can have this in the bike and the bike running. Sometimes I'll pull over the side of the road, leave the bike running, and I can use this key to open my top box to get a drink of water or something to eat or whatever and leave the bike running. So I set mine up so I have, you know, the key, the bike key comes off and I can do that. So I actually prefer having a separate key, but some people don't like that. But the way this thing works is this remains locked. You put the key in like that, turn the key, and now you can push this button right here and that will unlock the top. Now this does default to a locked position. So if I close this again, it's locked again. And as long as I have this key in this position, I can just push the button and it opens. But if I lock it and I have the key in this position, it's, it's done, it's locked. Now you see the silver button down here. That's to release the entire top box from the bike if you wanna take the top box with you. Now to do that, you still need the key. So if I try to push this now, nothing's gonna happen. If I put the key in, turn it, now I can push this button on the bottom and remove the whole box. To put the box back on, it's just a matter of sliding it on and pushing down, you're done. Now as long as we're on that subject, let me show you what it looks like when you have the box off. So I had the key like that, I push the button, the whole box will slide off and I can take it it does, let me see if I got that on camera. Yeah, it does have a handle right here, so you can hold it like that and take it with you. So this plate is what you're left with, and this is something you need to buy that fits on your bike. This basically sandwiches on top of uh, the BMW, um, you know, flat area that's here. And it's a pretty clean look, and with the top box gone, you know, you, would, you could mount other stuff on here if you wanted to. If you wanted to put soft luggage or something on here, you could do that without any problem. There's some rubber bumpers right here which keep it from rattling around. And basically the case fits into these little doodads right here and then locks in the back and you're good to go. For a close up of how the rack is attached, you have this little cover plate here which is attached itself by four screws. And then underneath you have these bolts, one, two, three, four. So these two in the back, you can easily get to. These two in the front are a little trickier, but it's not really that big a deal. It took me about 20 minutes to get this on. Now I have a 2012 model. Uh, newer models may be a little different. I'm not really sure actually, but um, you know, I didn't find it that big a deal to put the plate on. Looking underneath the plate here, what I did was put a little dab of silicone, clear silicone caulk on the end of the bolt sticking out. So if these nuts ever came loose, they couldn't go anywhere, and they've been fine for three years. And if you look at the bottom of the case here, it's smooth. Uh, there are no holes or anything, uh, as long as you don't have wiring going in there, and you're good to go. Now, there are some systems um, to put wiring in the box so that you can put brake lights in this area and here, which I'll show you in a minute. I did not do that, and I may do it in the future, but as of now, I haven't. So if you're just going to carry this into a hotel room or something, you can do that. All right, with the box open, you can see there's plenty of room in here, and I'm gonna get into that some more in a second. When I'm just around town, I mean, I just throw a bunch of stuff in here and it's fine. I mean, I keep a, there's some food in here, you know, bars. 
I have water, I have, you know, a sack of uh, gators and stuff like that. Uh, I keep my tire kit. Now it's COVID, so I keep masks. So that can all rattle around here and it's really fine. I've never had any issue with that. And they also give you this um, elastic uh, device here, as you've seen in, in many other top boxes. So you can put that together if you like uh, to help hold things down. And of course, this is only the bottom half. You have the upper half as well. So there's lots of room in here. All right, let me give you some close up of the construction details. So it's well sealed. I've never had any problem as far as water intrusion, never had a problem. Uh, I don't know if you can see in here, I mean, this goes pretty deep here. This kind of fits over, this is a rubbery kind of gasket material. So this fits over that and it would just be impossible for water to get in there. So I've never had an issue as far as water intrusion. It's always been watertight. Um, it has these, you know, hold backs here so that when you flip the top up, you can just let it, let it rest and it'll be fine. Never had an issue with that either. Now what I did, the bottom here, comes with nothing. It's just hard plastic, nothing there. I just threw a little piece of uh, matting down there. It's like a little indoor outdoor carpet and just to keep some soft material on the bottom so things don't get scratched. If I have sunglasses in here or something like that, I can just throw them on there. They won't get scratched, but it does come just bare plastic on the bottom. Now I mentioned here on the outside, there is a light kit you can get from GV to install lights here. So you can attach them to your brake lights uh, you can go on their website and check that out if you want. Or I have seen people who have done a do-it-yourself kind of thing where they put their own wiring in and just LED lights in this area themselves. That's possible too. I probably will do something myself, but I haven't done it yet. If you look on the inside, access to this area, there's some screws here. All right, and so this little, little section of panel comes out. If you look at the close-up of the hinges here, I mean, they don't look like much, but I've never had any issue. You know, I've had this thing out in windy days when the, you know, the top is flopping about when I'm looking inside here, never had any issue with them. So they may not look like much, but they seem plenty strong for the job. And in general, the fit and finish is very good. You know, when I first got it, I was like, wow, it's pretty lightweight. Uh, I wonder if this thing's gonna hold up. But after three years, I've had zero issues uh, as far as durability. Um, it all closes nicely, just like it did when I first got it. Uh, snaps closed. You know, everything's clean. I've really had no issues as far as durability whatsoever. Now you can fit two helmets in here. I knew that was a question that would come up. And if you fit them on their side, that seems to work better. Some helmets, depending on, you know, how, how big they are, they may fit upright or they may not. But for these two, these are fairly decent sized helmets. Uh, they both fit, you know, side by side on, on their side and I can easily close the top and lock it, not a problem. Now here's a shot of the bottom uh, with everything taken out. And you see there's a little area right here, a circle, and that is kind of a punch out so that if you wanted to run wiring into the box for the lights, you could do it through here. Other people have done it other places, uh, but the factory gives you this little area right here. As far as keeping the box clean, I've had no problems with that. Uh, usually I just wipe it with a dry rag. Uh, once in a while I'll use a cleaner or something, but really, it, it, it isn't sticky as far as dirt, you know, and it just wipes right off. I've never had a problem as far as that. Uh, it's been very easy to maintain. Getting back to this area here where the passenger uh, might lean back, you know, I know there's two questions. One is comfort. So you, you have these hinges sticking out. I've never had a passenger complain about it though. And as far as the wisdom of leaning back on it, using it as a backrest, um, it's plenty strong enough. I wouldn't be too concerned about that. So to bottom line this for you, um, I really have nothing but good things to say about this box. Um, when I first got it, like I said, I had not had a chance to see it in person. I, I basically just took a chance and hoped for the best. But um, there really has been no issues with this as far as durability. The look is fine. I mean, it's not, you're not going to think it's factory, but it, it certainly doesn't clash with the bike. Um, and it's used on a lot of other bikes as well. So you can put this on a wide variety of other bikes which is nice because if you end up selling your RT and going to something else, well, the box can probably go with it uh, because they make plates for other bikes as well. So overall, I say it's a great little system, um, very durable, price is right. And if you don't want to spend the money on a factory box, I think this is a great option for you.